wanted to share with you a tutorial about how to make a very basic kitchen tea towel. And my inspiration for this tutorial today came from cleaning up my cupboards the other day in my kitchen and wondering where did all my tea towels go because I barely had any. And one of the ones I had remaining was this one, my Australian tea towel, which I received as a gift probably 10 years ago or more. Um, shortly after I arrived in LA and at the time I really loved this tea towel. I mean, you know, it's got a kookaburra on it and it says Australia and it has a rosella which were very popular where I grew up in my little beach town and it, you know, it really made me feel at home whenever I looked at it. But when I found it the other day and especially, you know, the last few months with the Black Lives Matter movement being so prominent, um, this tea towel really inspired in me a different feeling. Um, for those of you who don't know, Australia had a white Australia policy from 1901 to 1950. And this was a really dark period in Australian history where they weren't allowing any people of colour to immigrate to the country. So when I looked at this tea towel and I noticed all the Union Jack state flags and that it really didn't represent anything that modern day Australia has become, I realized it was probably time to throw it out and make a new one and replace it with something that is a little bit more culturally appropriate to who I am and where I grew up and where I come from and something that's a little bit more, you know, reflective of today. So, I think today is the perfect time to replace this old-fashioned colonial looking tea towel with something new and fresh in my kitchen. So let's jump into it. Okay, we are in my sewing studio. So as I mentioned, today's tutorial is a very simple tea towel, which is just a rectangular piece of fabric hemmed all the way around the edge. But I just wanted to take a few minutes to talk about how we're going to do the corners because with a tea towel, it's going to be uh, used and washed multiple times over its lifetime and we really want to make sure that the edges are finished nicely to stop them from fraying um, when you use it. So here's an example of the kind of corners I want to achieve with this towel and as you can see it has a nice metered diagonal seam and everything is tucked in really nice and sewn together so the wear on this tea towel is going to be very minimal. Right now, I'm going to give a demonstration on how to achieve this with an oversized piece of fabric, just so you can see how to do the corners when you're making the finished thing. So here I have um, one side has been hemmed already, and we're just going to hem the other side like this. And then I'll come back and show you how to do that nice metered diagonal seam. Okay, so now we have one side has been hemmed and the other side has been hemmed and you know a lot of people um, do the corners like this I mean this is totally fine I just think there's a bit of a raw edge here and so I want to tuck it in and make it nice and tidy so all we're gonna do is we are gonna fold this corner down like this evenly <laughs> and then you're gonna fold one of the sides down to meet the corner like this and the other side is going to come down to also meet that corner like that. And you can see here, this is how we're going to achieve that diagonal seam. And I'm just going to put a pin in it here. So hopefully it will stay. And so we are just going to sew uh, this seam down and then we are going to sew this seam down and give it a little bit of a press and you will see how the corner finishes up. So this is how it's going to look on your tea towel for today. And it looks pretty good. I could do better, but I was also holding the camera, so. <laughs> and um, this is the finished one again, just for your reference. So let's cut out the squares and put it all together. 
So now it's time to cut our fabric. And I am gonna be using this fabric, which is a little bit heavier in weight. It's probably a medium or heavy weight, about seven ounces or so. And the reason I like the heavier home decor fabric is that it's gonna be more absorbent. But if you're gonna opt for a thinner fabric that comes in 44 inches wide, for instance, you're probably gonna to want to line it with something. And I would really recommend for a tea towel that it's something like a terry toweling or something a bit more absorbent so that it really functions as a durable tea towel. If you're gonna go the home decor route as I'm doing, if you buy one yard of fabric at 54 inches, by 36 inches, that means that you are going to be able to get approximately two tea towels out of one yard. Now Google recommends the average tea towel size to be 18 by 28 inches, which means we are going to cut two pieces about 20 by 30 inches, allowing for um, the hem which will be a quarter inch for the first round and then another quarter inch for the second round. So play around with these numbers. If you like a bigger tea towel, by all means cut it a little bit bigger um, and just do it to what suits you. So I finished cutting my fabric and now we are just gonna put the first hem that we did earlier, a quarter inch hem like this all the way around and the edges we're not going to do the diagonal edges just yet but we're going to just do the folded edge like this all the way around quarter inch So now we've done our first go around of the hem of the tea towel and after that we are going to do the corners in the second hem just like we did in the beginning. But before we get to this point I decided to put a little hook on my tea towel. So what I've done is I have cut um, a little piece of fabric, this is two inches wide and I am just going to fold it down into the center like this and then I'm gonna fold it one more time like this and do a top stitch. Okay, so now my little hook is done and I am gonna position this just right here under the, the hem on a corner of the towel. And I'm just gonna leave a, leave a little bit of um, a slack so it doesn't, you know, fit too tight in there. So this is what it's gonna look like. Let me just pin it together so I can show you what it's gonna look like when it's all done just like this and we'll be able to hang it up somewhere in the kitchen um, when we're finished so hang tight gonna do the second round of the hem And voila, here we have a brand new tea towel with a little hook in the back for my kitchen. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'd love to see any tea towels that you make at home. Thanks. Thanks.